Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible, horrible stuff, and brings it on back here in a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And oh boy, we kind of got some happy news to start on tonight. I. Well, it's an anniversary for this guy. Um, and it's Florida. So, hey, we're, we're starting off with a bang. Um, Port St. Lucie, alleged underwear theft leads to man's 100th arrest. Let's give him a hand. Yo, oh, yeah. 100 arrests. A man accused of stealing socks and underwear led police on a foot chase before he was caught hiding behind a trash bin, then arrested for the 100th time joseph wilson who turns 50 this year he's averaging two a year and i'm even clu- including what is, what is the traditional school. gift for a hundred the rest i know 50 is gold 25th is silver what do you give for i think it's diamonds <laughs> i think they have to give him diamonds at that point um According to the arrest affidavit, Williams walked out of a department store with the merchandise under his clothing. When a loss prevention officer tried to confront him, he jumped into a waiting minivan and ordered the driver to take off. So they're all organized and shit on this. Hey, get away, driver. I wonder if it was Ryan Gosling. Who, who steals underwear with a getaway driver? People that need underwear. Was there like some so ocean... That have the runs... Oh. <laughs> Was there like some Ocean's Eleven planning shit going on on this motherfucking thing? You know, everybody has their role, everybody plays their part, we're gonna time it just to this, to this. Maybe we found the underpants gnomes. <laughs> Maybe they're real. Stage one, steal underwear. Stage two, stage three, get arrested a hundred times. Merchandise Wilson is accused of stealing was $174. Prior to Wednesday, Wilson had a record that included 37 felony arrests, 47 misdemeanors, and 15 others. And other can be a broad category there. In all, he's been convicted of 35 of those incidents. Okay. You would think after getting arrested... Oh, I'm going to be generous here. Five times... Five times you would say, I don't want to do that again. I, I didn't like it. It was no. not fun. No, because practice makes perfect. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, crime, crime again. Did you think it do you think you had a fetish, maybe? For stolen underwear? No, for getting arrested. Maybe. God damn, is there nothing to t- Maybe Maybe he's really, really into peeing in front of people. Into a gym, <laughs> and the clubs where you can do that cost too much. Getting arrested is free. And there's a website springing into existence as we speak. All right. We, we, have, we have more. Just The first two on the police plotter here are, are the... Uh, the catch here. First of all, this this all comes from Seattle. This their, their local police blotter. First of all, public masturbator number one, September thirtieth. Okay. Link. What? I need the link. Oh, you need. I, oh, I have to hit enter. Has no link, poodle. Yeah, I have to hit enter. There you go. Um. Uh, September thirtieth, police were dispatched to reports of a man masturbating at the Federal Way Public Library. According to a report, the man was viewing pornography on a library computer and masturbating while doing so. And here I thought I was I was all set to defend him and be like, you know what? It's nice to see somebody excited about reading. <laughs> but no. You know Who who goes? Okay. Of all the various places Oh, your your camera's all weird. What do you mean? It's like weird, weird. Stop it and start it again. Can you elaborate on the weird? It's all weird, pixelated. You have two faces. It's all confused. Did you just call me two-faced? It had two faces. There was you and there was you. 
It's like yeah, it was like a Picasso was like or something. Death on Beeblebrox for a minute there. Yeah, it was like it was like a Picasso or some shit. There you go. All right. Um, internet. Anyway, yeah. If you really, really need to get yourself off, um, of all the possible places, a public library. Kids are in there. You know. Well, even that, but I mean. I hope he's not a moaner, because there are... <laughs> like... <laughs> the last thing you need... The last thing you need when when you're, you know, draining the fire hydrant Shh. is some old lady with a bun coming up and being like, Shh. <laughs> And I know, I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, but hot librarian, blah, 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 blah. And all of you have librarian no, fantasies. And I realize I'm wearing glasses as I say that. And fuck you all. But hang out at a library sometime. And the, 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 the ones who are going to yell at you for the noise level are not generally the hot ones. Like, it's not fucking, like, some cute little thing in, in seamed stockings who's going to come up and yell no. at you to be quiet. It's not fucking Derek in his cute little top hat no. that's going to, like, yell at you to be quiet. It's fucking Ruth Buzzy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Sophia from the Golden Girls. She's the yes. one. Hey, stop doing that. What are you doing? Stop with the... What are you doing with yourself in the public? Stop that. Shh. It's a library. That sounded nothing like Sophia from the Golden Girls. I know, Girls. but, you know, that's the best I can do. That actually sounded kind of like Joe Pesci. Yeah, I'm going to have, I'm going to, have to work on my old lady impression just you for you. Just mm -hmm. for you. Um, Get that down by this weekend, sir. But on the same day... Not an hour later, public masturbator number two. Really? Uh, a person was called to say they saw their neighbor chasing a man through their backyard. According to the police report, the reporting party said the man being chased had been masturbating in the neighbor's backyard. Well, it's not technically public. It's just not your house. Well, what do you do? You, you, I, did he have, like, a nicer lawn or something? Oh, Maybe yeah. Maybe they were looking in the windows of the house. Well, that's just creepy. Not everybody's smart enough to close their blinds. <laughs> yes, also, as someone in the chat points out, it's called exhibitionism. I totally didn't finish that word. Anyway, some people like being watched while they, you know, double-click their mouse. Well, you know, ask a motherfucker first. Hey, is it okay if I take my dick out? No! Take no for an answer. If so, ask. Get permission before you just foist your jerking offness on someone. Don't do that! Okay, so you think it would be acceptable <laughs> if a dude walked up to your door and was like, hey, you got purdy hair. You, you mind if I choke it in your backyard while I watch you? As long as I could... Little stick friend? As long as I could say... Mind if I play with my little stick friend while you play with your little stick friend? As Have long you, as I could say no, and they would say, okay, and go away. Yeah, that's the best outcome I could think of that entire situation. If I said, no, go the fuck away, and they went the fuck away, I would be happy. It's when they just, oh, well, fuck it, I'll do it anyway. You ask. Consent. It's kind of important. And keep your pinkies out. <laughs> Remember your masturbation etiquette, people. Pinkies fucking out. This is, it, this is just one of those weird things. I wonder if that would, I don't know. It, how it, that would work with the logistics. I'm not going to think about it. it. It's not the same guy. Because they arrested the one at the library. So at the same day... No. What? They, they, nothing says they detained him. Yeah, they did. Suspect was detained by police without incident. The first one. Okay. So on the same day, within an hour of each other, two people just decided to publicly masturbate. What the hell happened? Well, they weren't on the same airplane, 
So the Brody is not lost. This right is out. Honey. I was going for mall rats. This is going for mall rats. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, you say plain, and the first thing you always say, think of when you. Fair, guilty as charged. Okay. But I just. <sighs> if someone came to my door and asked me if they could watch me and masturbate, um. Taser gunner mace. I have none of those things. I have batons. I'm yeah. a bludgeon by nature. Yeah, she'll crack your skull, man. I will crack your fucking skull. So. And then be like, you think you can still do it then, now that your fine motor skills are gone? More power to you. And that's that'd probably be a fetish of oh, all of its own. Ugh. Why do you always have to bring it there? It's you. See, this is what I'm saying. This is why I think it's you writing any fanfic that's out there. Because you're always the guy that brings it there. It's always it's, you. I just know the fucking internet. It's always you. I've been here long. So, no, Nash, you cannot sit in my backyard and masturbate. That is not acceptable to me. Don't even bother to ask. I hope I'm very sorry. Can we get on with the next fucking story? He was kind of asking for it, Hope. Can, in we, my get, can we get on the next fucking story? Yes. Okay. Gilmore man accused of stabbing sword at police officers. A Gilmore man who allegedly stabbed a King Arthur-style sword at police officers and used an arc welder to electrify his screen door during a drunken confrontation is facing charges in magistrate's court. Now, before we get any further in the story, I must say I'm already impressed. Wielding a sword... Rigging up this MacGyver electric fence with an arc welder and doing so while drunk. That is impressive. That, that, like, does he. The arc welder had to be, like, pre set up. Like, that's. That's not something you can put out on the fly while you're swinging Excalibur at the cops. Like, that shit's got to be already. Like, he's placed his booby trap <laughs> with electricity. Here, here's the understatement of the, right. here's the understatement of the year bit here. Uh, court heard Michael Raymond's uh, he's got four names. Michael Raymond John Demetrius's behavior. Michael wow, Raymond he's extra Raymond. bad because the serial killers only get three names. Uh, his behavior was quote very bizarre, and officers had to jump through a window to intervene when he allegedly approached a young woman with a meat cleaver. And bizarre. he's 53 years old. Oh. Spry for his age. Um, I said it before and I'll say it again. The, 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 the bladed weapons that, that you collect, because I know some of you collect them. Just, just, just leave them hanging on the wall. Mm. They're not for use. This is not fucking Braveheart. You are not Mel Gibson. You are not Ken Watanabe in any number of movies where he played a samurai who died nobly at the end. Yeah, if, if you ever say the phrase, there can be only one, and you're not kidding. Mm. You better hope you're not Christopher Lambert, because <laughs> if so, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no! You don't go swinging swords at people. It's two fucking thousand and eleven. You what? don't call girls milady because that doesn't get us moist. I'm sorry. Outside the Ren Fair, you call a girl milady. We're just like, oh, really? You don't go swinging swords at people. You don't wear floppy boots that lace up to your knees, like to normal places when you're not larping. Like there, there are things you do not do because it is no longer 1602. It, it kind of gets better. Better? Yeah. Uh, court heard Demetrius <laughs> uh, was extremely drunk on Monday, and his partner called police after an argument between the pair resulted in Demetrius swinging a samurai blade at her and his son. Um, when he arrived at the house, when police arrived at the house, he locked his partner out. Uh, then uh, they said they spotted a young woman, uh, the girlfriend of his son, in a bedroom and spoke to her through the window. Young woman refused to go, saying her two young children were asleep in the house. So Demetrius entered the room, holding a meat cleaver. The police tried to enter. 
through the window. Nobody was hurt, thankfully. But yeah, I am s the the preparation here. At some point, this guy sat down and thought to himself, "You know, someday I'm going to need to electrify my screen door." Don't whiz on the electric fence. I mean that that who plans for this this occurrence? Who gets the arc welder? Who who rigs that shit up? And because just that one day, that one day they'll be able to say, "Ha ha! I was prepared." <clears throat> who does that? Crazy people. The kind of people that okay, collect yeah. bladed weapons yeah. and don't just leave them hanging on the wall, but swing them at people. Yeah. The kind of people that approach their son's girlfriends with fucking meat cleavers. Crazy people. Yeah. Yeah. Not nice people. Uh, now, now this, I'm sorry, I read this and I'm like, I want to slap this woman. I just do. Because that never happens on this show. Woman sues to stop drive getting away with a, quote, I misleading this. trailer. This was some bullshit. <laughs> Michigan resident files suit against distributor of Ryan Gosling's thriller, claiming the film had, quote, very little driving, and is anti-Semitic. Uh, most people gripe about trailers these days it, um, is that they blow too much info about the film's plot, but not Sarah Deming. This uh, Michigan resident is suing the distributor of the critically acclaimed Ryan Gosling thriller Drive, as well as the cinema where she saw it, claiming it was, not public it was publicized as a Fast and Furious-style action piece, but turned out to be nothing of the sort. In her suit, uh, which was filed, uh, the Sixth Judicial Circuit Court, Deming says the Nicholas Winding Redfern. There's no, there's no, there's no consonant between the F and N. That that's not a, that's not a name. Refn. Refn. Okay. Uh, bore very little similarity to a chase or race action film, having very little driving in the motion picture. The plaintiff goes on to attack Drive for what she perceives to be as anti-Semitic leanings. The film, quote, substantially contained extreme, gratuitous, dehumanizing racism directing at members of the Jewish faith and thereby promoted criminal violence against members of the Jewish faith. Um, Deming hopes to turn her appeal into a class action suit, which would allow cinema goers across the U.S. to sue on similar grounds if they found themselves watching films on the basis of a misleading trailer. You want to make trailers illegal. Yeah, pretty much. Because every fucking Wayans Brother movie that ever comes out, <laughs> they cut together the five funny lines out of that movie, and that's the trailer, and the rest of the movie is shit. So oh. you basically want to make it illegal to make trailers. Oh, if this, this was held up as a precedent, so many movies, so many movies would I sue. So many movies. So many the guy on YouTube who cuts together classic movies as different types of movies by making new trailers would be totally out of business. Oh, yeah. That Shining is a coming-of-age film. and it's, it's, it's advertising. You understand the whole point of advertising is to make you buy something you don't necessarily need. That's the point. It's been around since the first guy tried to I mean, sell... If this shit goes through, I'm totally out of a job because some crazy bitch is going to sue my store because our eyeliner didn't really make her look like Kat Von D. And we're done. As a society, we're done. Our society is based on lies. Well, it's it's just, all lies. It's like... Advertisers lie to you that their product is going to do something. Women lie to you about what we look like. Men lie to us about what their fucking intentions are. It's all based on lies and that's how humanity marches on. It's madness! Don't fuck with the system, people! It's like, has no one ever lied to this lady? It's from Matrix. It's not happy out there. It's all just tasty wheat and sweaters with holes in them. Has, has no one ever lied to this woman? Has, has, has she never been disappointed in her life? Was this, like, the first time ever that she'd ever been disappointed? Like, well, I this feel, can't happen! I, I feel like... That's not the case. Probably not. She's but... probably been disappointed. This is probably the the, the the teeny tiny tip of a very large iceberg. Yeah, is, is this like the, the tipping point? That's kind of sad, though. A Ryan Gosling movie 
being what snaps you over the edge that I wouldn't brag about that, you know? This yeah, is the kind of person who sues over frivolous lawsuit people are the same kind of people that fucking show up on Jerry Springer and tell their friends to watch. Shame has no place here. I'm trying to find a good segue to this next one, and there there really isn't. I, I feel nothing but sad for this poor bastard. Um, it's It relates to movies. I'm sorry, you just reminded me of a funny story. I guess it, it, this, this relates to movies. So we have something to see about this guy, right? What? Oh no, not this guy. They made a movie about one of his nephews or something. Yeah. Saddam double escapes Alexandria porn kidnap gang again. Egyptian Saddam Hussein lookalike claims, claims foreign gang attacked him after he refused luc lucrative offer to star in sex videos they could sell as, quote, found footage. Uh, he was severely beaten after an Iraqi gang tried to kidnap and force him to film pornographic videos because of his astonishing resemblance to Iraqi strongman Saddam Hussein. Uh, Mohammed Bashir uh, said he was on his way Sunday to a cafe in the bustling downtown area of uh, uh, Alexandria when three men wearing black suits tried to force him in the back of a van. Uh, they had guns hanging from the belts, forced me, forced me out of my car and shoved me into a van, hitting my head. Um, his son said the father had previously met with a group of unidentified people who spoke Arab, uh, Arabic and in an Iraqi uh, dialect and had been offered approximately 333000 U.S. dollars to impersonate the late dictator in a pornographic video. He refused. Interesting that they offered exactly one third of six hundred sixty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> Could it be Satan? Sorry. Is is there oh, really remembers the church lady anyway? Is there really such a call out there for Saddam? <laughs> you say it every week. There's there's a fucking call for every kind of porn. You say it every week. You said it three times tonight. It, <laughs> It's sad, but yeah, there are people who will totally beat it to Saddam Hussein. Does he really look that much like Saddam? Let's put him up on the big screen here. because I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm like, really? That's... Not really. Not really! Why are you kicking this poor bastard's ass? He doesn't look anything like... Look, there's Saddam Hussein... That's the guy, and then and that's Saddam Hussein, the real one. And then this is the poor bastard they put in the fucking hospital right here. It is isn't the, the, the fuck? Not only were you going to make a crappy pretend-to-be-found found footage of Saddam Hussein fucking, it, it, you're going to have tons Which, and... Which, let's be honest, probably exists anyway. Yeah, but th you're going to have tons and tons of people throughout the Arab-speaking world going, I don't look anything like him. Don't look anything like the motherfucker. I I just. I mean, if you want to impress me, Photoshop him into the Paris Hilton sex tape. That would be kind of hilarious in a weird way. I would buy that shit in a hot second. <laughs> this is. I mean, I've apparently he's got it. He's been attacked before just for looking. They thought he was Saddam when Saddam was still on the loose. People went, oh. Fuck, it's Saddam! And they beat him up. And, you know, at that, that, that'd that be the point that I'd be like, you know what, um, maybe I should lose the beard. Or trim it, or dye it, or do a little something different with this whole thing. Well, depending on what kind of... If he's a Muslim, depending on what kind, I think they're supposed to have a beard. Okay, but he could... There's stuff going on up here he could do something different with. You know... A little bit of a change, a little bit of an alteration, you know. Just try to get a jaunty hat. Jaunty hat. Maybe get an emo hawk, you know, going. Yeah, that would that would totally that would totally fly. I think. That but would... you know, you'd think he would have taken steps to remedy this after the first time people beat him up for being Saddam Hussein. Well, not being because everybody knows he's dead. Or and yeah, someone makes a good point. Let's let's go to office space with it. Why should I change? He's the one who sucks. Oh, right, right, yeah. The the, the uh, Michael Bolton. Why should I change? He's yeah. 
That's not fair. I, I can't help but feel sorry for the guy. I mean, just... Yeah. We'll, we'll pay you a third of a million dollars to fuck people and pretend to be Saddam Hussein. No! Why not? Dignity? What is this? I've never heard of dignity. What is this word? I work in the porn industry. That word has no meaning here. I don't understand. What is this? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, this, uh... A new spin on the, uh... Have I got a bridge to sell you? Mm -hmm. Um, this comes from, uh, Lawrence County, uh, from North Beaver Township. Really? Lawrence County Steel Bridge Stolen. Magneto? <laughs> it's, yeah, a bandit of probably several has stolen a privately owned steel bridge from a secluded area in Lawrence County. Um, the bridge has been in the area since the 1900s. State police estimate someone using a torch to tear apart the bridge, which was worth an estimated $100,000. Uh, it happened sometime between September 27th and Wednesday. Um, th this is a bridge that weighed, uh, how much did it? Uh, 50, it was 50 feet long, 20 feet wide, made of steel. Um... The uh, Newcastle Development had recently decided to close the bridge to the public because someone in the area had been stealing copper. Uh, state police did not release description of suspects, and they would not give uh, available comment. Um, who steals a bridge? What do you do with it? How? I'm amazed they got it's away. Too, it's too big to put over your koi pond in the backyard. <laughs> Well, apparently they were stealing it for salvage. Apparently the, the cost of scrap metal has gone all the way up. That's why it's worth $100,000. Yes, that's got to be really hard to fence. Right! <laughs> you would think there would be easier ways to go about this sort of criminal activity. They're, yeah. They're, you're kind of setting yourself a bit of a roadblock just starting out. Roadblock, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, a little bit. But I mean, just I'm kind of impressed they got they managed to get away scot free with a bridge. What did they fit on? Like, how do you transport a fifty by twenty foot bridge? Can you have wheels? So it's not like you can just tow it. Can you drive a bridge over a bridge? That depends. Is it over troubled water? Oh. Oh. Hey, you know what? Roadblock, okay? That that is that is just that is some freaking hutzpah going on there. I just I really want to know how they transported it. How Maybe they got like twenty different guys and each gave everybody one piece and said run. That would have taken a really long time to take it apart. Maybe. Oh, my God. You don't watch Fringe. No. On Fringe, they had this bridge that existed in one universe, but not the other. So they had to merge the universes for a second to bring the bridge over to the other side so a dude could walk across it. Maybe they just sucked it into another universe. Because they needed it. That's what happened. Don't look at me like that. That's a fucking... You got a better explanation? I didn't think so. Okay. Peter fucking Bishop, y'all. Peter Bishop stole the bridge. Okay. And finally, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we, we've all been fired before. We've all lost our jobs before, but I think I, it's safe to say that none of us have gone as far to get our jobs back as this guy did. Naked ex-postman super glues himself to desk in job center protest. A former postman stripped off and super glued himself to the desk at his local job center to protest being denied disability living allowance. Ian, Ian Robinson, 43, had to leave his job after developing arthritis, but uh, authorities have ruled he is not entitled to disability benefits and men must now try to receive uh, to survive on job seekers' allowance. Mr. Robinson decided to demonstrate how angry he was about the decision by staging a bizarre protest in front of shocked staff at the job center. 
Um, the naked demonstrator prized himself off, off the furniture before paramedics arrive, and he suffered only some redness to the skin. Um, however, Robinson was arrested and charged with public uh, order offense and criminal damage, even though he insisted the protests had been worth it, and he would do it all over again if he felt it would help him make his point. When I started taking my clothes off, a man said, you can't do that in here. So I went over and glued myself to his desk. Obviously. That's always my reaction when someone says, you can't do that in here. Even, I glued myself to their desk. Even better, nobody tried to stop me. Yeah, it was too late by that point. Really, was it? Was it? Well, I think that that's kind of the whole, no one wants to touch a random naked stranger. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that if some dude, like, rolled into my office, dropped trow, and started gluing himself to shit, I don't think I'd... You don't want to touch him! I'm not gonna throw the clothesline on that one. No. Was that... I have to wonder, was this a spontaneous outburst? Or was this the plan all along? Did he go in there with with a, a bottle of super glue going, if they don't give me my fucking money, don't give me my fucking money, I mean, he kind of had to have the super glue with him. Unless someone just had it. Maybe it was in the office and he went, idea. This is going to be amazing. This is going to work. All right. He had to pry himself off. Have you ever been working with super glue at all and maybe like glued your fingers together a little bit? And it kind of, it's, it's not fun to pull yourself apart. It's not real damaging, but it does hurt. I've, I've sealed up cuts with rubber cement because I went to art school and sometimes you cut yourself with an exacto knife on deadline and you just do what you got to do. Right. You set that shit up with rubber cement and that hurts like a mother bitch coming off. So imagine that on your fiddly bits. Well, I, it doesn't say he glued himself there. He was naked. Yeah, you can be naked and still like... Uh, I, I, I don't know how much of a percentage of your person your fiddly bits take up and how whether I should give hope, congratulations, or condolences for that. But most people, something like 80 to 90 percent of their body is not, in fact, genitalia. I actually hope pointed out something. Uh, how hairy was he? Oh. Ow. You know, maybe that's what he needed the disability for, so that maybe he needed a waxing and decided, fuck it, if they're not going to give me money for waxing, I'm just going to do this shit right here. But what's blowing my mind is he's saying, I would do it all over again. You would go into the job center, strip naked, and super glue yourself to a desk again. I'm just not sure I see the connection between the protest and the desired outcome. Hey, he said he would do it again if he felt that it would help him make his point. What the fuck point were you trying to make? Well, it says, a society is judged on how it treats, it si treats the sick and leaving them without disability benefit is criminal. But I don't see how it... Th that's... Those, there is no one, intersection. These, these phase are phase one: glue self to desk naked. Phase two, phase three: disability. Th these are like yes, phase three is disability because you've torn your own ass off. But <laughs> I don't think that's what you were going for. These, the the point he was trying to make and how he went about it are two parallel lines. Mm. They will never intersect. I don't think they're parallel. I think it's more like. There is never an intersection here. There is never a point where the two cross. Mm -mm. No, I, 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 I don't, I don't get it. It's just maybe, maybe. Oh my God, I do get it. Oh God. He, he, he wanted to start his own version of Jackass because he figured, <laughs> you know what? They won't give me disability. They pay some American fucking redneck kid to staple his balls to his leg. I need a fucking reality show. There it is. You can't even argue with me. No, I can't. God Bam! damn.
Oh, god damn. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a good point. We pay people to do this shit. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. And that's... that's... It's a sick, sad world, people. So what, what did we learn tonight? <laughs> learn that gluing yourself naked to things is not the way to get the government to give you money. Yeah. Yeah, that... that, 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 that uh, oh, you guys got the Dari reference. Her tonight on six at yeah, Dari. Um, um if you have if if you own a sword collection, sword decorative only. You and are don't play with any of your swords in public, including the meaty ones between the legs. <laughs> Oh, I hadn't thought of no, the term pork sword in so long. No, no type of public fencing is acceptable unless <laughs> you're actually wearing like the sieve over your face and competing for a gold medal of some sort. No, wield no sword in public without permission. Um, when you watch advertising, understand they're going to take some liberties. Mm -hmm. It's not personal. Yes, and the word milady will not get you laid. No, milady, that won't. That just, they won't. Mm -mm. Or, Stop calling us that. It's 2011. Or if it does. Mm. Mm, yeah. It's like that SNL commercial, Red Flag. Did you see that ad? <laughs> red Flag perfume. If she, yeah. if she gets all moist when you call her milady, Red Flag. That's all I'm And. You know, apparently bridges, people will steal things, nailed down or not. Yeah. I... Who steals a fucking bridge? I don't know, but I kind of want to now. We should do that in New York. We should totally fucking steal the Brooklyn Bridge while we're in New York. Let's do it. I'll give it to you for your birthday. Not the first time I've heard that. <sighs> That's what the she bridge, the bridge, <laughs> the bridge.